Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Shemel Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Melson and Guru Well. Salutation to the men of the Hope Land since I left. This is Brother Marcus out here in Trinidad. I just want to do as the edification for the elect's sake. You know, and basically, this lesson is about, you know, how the wicked, they steadily trying to, you know, frustrate the work of Yahaba Shemel Shai, trying to. You know for the prophecies trying to offset prophecies which that impossible all right and you know, as the scripture talk about the axe posting itself against the wielder that is basically what Esau doing by actually believing and attempting to offset the prophecies like hinder the prophecies from coming to pass you can't do that you can't do that it was already it etched in stone it etched in spiritual stone all right it etched in stone and you can't even understand the prophecies without us so how are you gonna off throw the prophecies yeah you know who we are you know you're not this the true israelites all right when i was watching that video and you know a muslim guy he was bringing out that um it illegal in um in israel to do dna tests right because you know at the end of the day if they do a dna test they will prove that you know that where they they sent would lead back to all these scriptures say don't follow after genealogy but for the most part they will prove that you know just like in um in 13 tribe it says that their descent came not through abraham isaac and jacob and it will prove that all right because they're trying to hide from the world the 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 the, the, the truth about who they are when you go in the um the judea encyclopedia it says that modern day jewry is edom modern day jewry is edom all right so they know who they are these people over there that was set up during world war ii um through the balfour decoration these people are not the, the chosen people of the most High. All right, but what they're trying to do, they're trying to take our heritage, the heritage of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because we are the true people of the most side. So they're trying to take our heritage, they're trying to offset prophecies so that it won't happen, so that they can remain with that name. But guess what? You can call yourself whatever name you want, you can call yourself the Son of God. That don't mean because you take a name, you're gonna take, you're gonna inherit. What the what the, what the, the Lord has prepared for His people. All right, you're not gonna you're not gonna receive that. All right, so they they try steadily to offset the prophecies and you know and and to frustrate the work of Yahaba Shemia Shai. You know, like we will pop videos. You know, I literally saw um, about a week or two ago. I did a video. You know, I saw the views going up, and then all of a sudden the views reach back to zero. And then started going up again some brothers i saw our brothers show that they would like a particular comment on their page and seconds after the like will disappear all right so they have their agents working out there to try to hinder the work of you know of your harbor shimmy or shy but guess what you can't stop it you can't stop it all right this is luke 19 and verse um 37 it says um wait it says and when he was come nigh even now at the descent of the mount of olives the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice because the lord didn't just have 12 he had hundreds all right but he had 12 close to him began to rejoice and praise yahweh with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen saying blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the lord peace in heaven and glory in the highest and some of the pharisees from among the multitude said unto him master rebuke thy disciples and he answered and said unto them i tell you that if these should hold their peace the stones would immediately cry out means that if for some reason if the 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 you know the apostles you know the, the disciples or right, the men of the lord will stop preaching guess what 
stones will start to cry out and sing hallelujah sing praise unto Yahaba Shimei or Shai they would, they would prophesy they would prophesy so you can't stop the work of Yahaba Shimei or Shai you can't stop it alright by you trying to stop this you thinking that you're greater than the Mosai you're not greater than the Mosai the axe can't boast itself against the maker I mean it can boast itself but I don't mean nothing good gonna come out of it all right look what the lord did the lord made balaam and saul prophesy the lord made them prophesy the lord made antiochus you know want to be a, an, an israelite claiming that he will go about and, and testify yahabah shimei Oshai. the lord could humble you all right so if the lord could do any um, Proverbs 21 and verse 1. It says, The heart of the king is in the hand of Yahweh. As the, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So, Jeremiah 10 and 23 says, It is not in men to direct his own steps. The Lord controls all things. The Lord Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh is the name of the Most High. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. They control all things. The scripture said he gave all judgment unto his son. That men may praise the honor the son as they honor the father. Alright. So. You can't frustrate their works. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai. He doing the work of the father. Alright. You can't frustrate the, the work of the Mosai. Alright. There's no stopping it. There's no stopping the prophecies from coming to pass. You can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. All right? You can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. This is Romans chapter 11 and verse 2. Um, it says, Yahweh had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What he not, what the scripture said of Elias... How he made intercession to Yahweh against Israel, saying, Oh, it says, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. So Elijah told that he would, This, this is it, Lord, after me, ain't have nobody else. This is what the Lord respond to him. It says, But what said the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. What not bow the knee to the image of Baal? It says, even so, then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. All right. So even now, even now, all right. You think that you know you could you could stop this word from coming out? That all right? That you probably might put some of us to sleep, or you might, you know. How to, how, to, how to pray that you might, you know, persuade some, whether by threatenings or by bribery, to stop pushing this word. You think that's going to stop it? Nah, that ain't going to stop it. The Lord knows all these things will come to pass. And the ones that you get to stop, push this word, they won't have the elect. Because you can't stop the elect from pushing this word. One simple reason you can't stop the elect from pushing this word. The scriptures talk about... Um, the men that hazard in their life all right what did peter said we ought to obey the most high rather than men because they beat the apostles and tell them hey don't go and preach in our name and they just got licks and they went out and start prophesying again because why because these men didn't care about their life all they care about is the love of yahaba shimmy Shai. because at the end of the day this preaching this gospel the, our life depends on it our life depends on it so if our life our salvation the salvation of our souls depend on preaching this gospel what could you do to us all right you threaten us but we know when you threaten us and we stop doing this well guess what the lord yahaba hashem is gonna do worse so what save our lives now and to die a more gruesome death later and not make it in the kingdom peacefully no nah. The man that stopped pushing this word don't understand the judgment of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. You don't understand the judgment of the Lord. Even as Esau don't understand the judgment of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. Alright? 
we're gonna give up we're gonna give up the kingdom to save our life in a crumbling system in a system that's gonna be destroyed and then when we save our life from this Esau sword all right and we live for two minutes and then we see the Lord coming what are we gonna tell the Lord the mats don't mats all right so you have to hold fast to this truth all right and even if you stop pushing this word guess what the lord have a replacement ready matter of fact you have two replacements ready three replacements ten replacements this is like a spiritual hydra you chop one head off two come up in its place you can't you can't kill this body you can't kill this body all right you can't kill this body this is revelation chapter 12 um so that verse 10 it says and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our god and the power of his anointed it says for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night and this is so-called white man esau it says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb that is how we overcome by the blood of the lamb the knowledge of yahaba shemi Shai. All right, which Holy Spirit He put on us, that is how we overcome the understanding of this word, the fear and the love of Yahweh Shai. All right, and also in Jeremiah chapter, I believe it's Jeremiah chapter 51. Um, you know, Lord said He gonna, He said it in Jeremiah 50 and 20, and He also said it in Jeremiah, I believe it's chapter 51 and verse 6. All right that you know you're gonna understand you know the the the, the mercies that yahaba hashem and shai place on us because the blood of yahweh shai it, it it cleanses us from all iniquity and once we stay faithful to the lord you're gonna stay cleansing us all right and there's nothing you can do to as the scripture saying Jeremiah, i think it's um saying john chapter 10 and verse 17 it says basically you know none can take them out of my father's hand you can't take them out of his father's hand. All right? So that is how we overcome by the blood of the Lord. All right? Going on. It says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. So, you know, we don't care about our lives. All right? Because we don't have a life here to begin with. And even if you threaten us with death, get a... Hey, who knows it might shake us up just thinking about hey we're about to die by the end of the day guess what this word the scripture says fear her torment this word comforts us romans 15 and 4 it comforts us all right and coming into this truth we've been preparing our minds to potentially die for this truth for the sake of yahaba shimia or shai the time gonna come where it might require us to die all right how are you gonna kill a man that is ready to die you're not killing him all you're doing i remember this i believe is it was an old movie i believe is um the greatest story ever told when they were killing john the baptist and uh, they told john the baptist they're gonna behead him or they said they're gonna behead him or they're gonna kill him and what john the baptist respond say you're not gonna kill me you're gonna free me all right because all the prophets know that guess what this this body this body is, is chains of darkness is chains so when you put us to death guess what you send us on our one we take it straight to meet our lord and savior and what the scripture said what paul said he said he desired to be with the lord but more needful for him for you for him to be in this flesh it is more needful for you that he remain in this flesh but his desire is to be with the lord all right you only fulfilling our desire because guess what did that sleep gonna come with your house shine we don't die we multiply all right we know we don't love our lives unto death because we know it, at some point it's gonna require us to die in this truth all right this is romans chapter 8 and verse 35 it says who shall separate us from the love of mashiach shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword or sword it says 
as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all things in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angel nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come all right no height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. So nothing. And once you have that mindset, once you have that etched in your, you know, in your in your cranium, on your heart, because your 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 heart lies, your heart is basically your, your brain. All right. Once you have that etched in your soul, guess what? Nothing can hinder you from making it into the unto the end. He that enjoyed it unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right. Because guess what? With or without you, the prophecy is gonna be preached. The kingdom gonna come, and the prophecies will be fulfilled with or without you. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahaba Shemel Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. There's a brother Mark is out here in Shredad saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.